Hey guys, what's going on? You are in my garage. This is where I put the bulk of my work in, in dry fire. Um, obviously, I go to the range as well as I do some dry fire inside the house with, uh, I use YouTube and my TV is, if you watch my other videos, you've seen some of that stuff. Um, but this is where I make the most progress between here and the range. So it's, I would say, I mean, maybe 50-50, I'm not sure exactly. You have to obviously, whatever you do here, I have to confirm on the range and make sure that I'm doing the right things that are actually getting me better, or if I'm just wasting my time. The range is where you figure that out, what what is worth your time. So I got a drill for you here. Um, I'm gonna show you real quick, just a real quick dry fire drill. Uh, I've got a lot of targets. Uh, these are uh, the vinyl sticky targets from uh, Go Fast, Don't Suck. Um, I've even got a little swinger, knock it, it swings for a little bit. Um, so that's what I use. Uh, like I said, that and then YouTube on my own TV. Um, but this drill, all you need, anything will do, a small target. You can start with a big target, you, you change it up to your skill level. But what this is going to do is instill good uh, fundamentals. We're always working on fundamentals, or at least the I am. I'm always working on the basic fundamentals. So this is just the draw, it's just a simple draw drill. And you may have heard of this, you may have done this, who knows, but put it out there. For this one, I'm going to be aiming at this little target right here. Um, you can do this on bigger targets, doesn't matter. Just find something that, uh, that you can aim at and draw to. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw to it normal. Nothing crazy, just a normal, I'm not even gonna look at my time. All I'm gonna do is get a feel, muscle memory. Know exactly where my pistol is, how it feels in my hand, in relation to my arms, my shoulders, my grip, all those things. I'm gonna put that into play. I'm gonna kind of mem semi-memorize it after a few draws. Then, all I'm gonna do is simply close my eyes. Do the same thing, react off the buzzer, not setting any speed records, just literally feeling what my pistol is doing. So, you're kind of getting in touch, you know, you're eliminating your, your eyes, which are the most important team thing in shooting, I would say. You're eliminating that aspect because we rely on it so heavy, and now you're just putting it into the feel of what your body is doing with that pistol in relation to that pistol and what that means downrange. So when you open your eyes, what do you got? So, sounds simple, because it is simple. So that's all I'm gonna do is show you a couple of those, a couple reps where I have uh, my eyes open, and obviously I'm taking good shots, and then I'm simply gonna close my eyes and do the exact same thing point it where I think it's gonna be on the target and simply open my eyes. One, can you even see, if you're running a dot, can you see your dot? Or if you're running irons, are they even lined up? That's half of it. The two is, is that dot or are your sights lined up on that target that you were just doing a regular drill with your eyes open? So, real simple, but what you can do is you'll learn a lot from this, you'll learn what your body's natural tendencies are. Maybe it wants to point it a little left or a little right or low or whatever it is. Now you're gonna know, and you probably didn't know before if you haven't been doing this. So it's a good little drill just to see what your body's natural inclination is. Natural point of aim, there's a lot of, I'm sure there's been, this has been done before, it's not new. It's just good to refresh, go back, even if you're an experienced shooter, find this stuff out and just reintroduce yourself to it so no matter what level you are, at least I'm under the belief, I'm always learning. So this is just another one of those things. So I'm gonna do it real quick. Probably over explained it, but here we go. So three, I didn't pull the trigger, you notice, because I'm really more focused on what my body is doing and telling me as it's coming out of the holster and pointing to the target. I'm really focused on where my sights are coming up on that target, so if, do I have to adjust left or right? So it's easy with your eyes open because things just tend to happen for you. Your body just naturally does things that you want it to do without you actually thinking about it. It's pretty cool, we got a pretty, pretty, pretty cool thing where we're running in. We're, so anyways, 
Now I'm going to close my eyes and see what it's going to be like once I'm pointing at what I think the target is. And then when I open my eyes, am I pointing at it? And I'll just voice it. I'll tell you what I'm at because you're not going to be able to see my sights. It's going to be a little slower most likely because I want to make sure I feel like I'm pointing at the target at least. Okay, I'm just, I'm to my right of the head, just over the shoulder. So I actually would have missed that one. And I'm not, I'm not upset with that. I was right here, right here. So I'm happy with that. Let's try this again. Now I've moved my feet. See if I can set myself up in the proper stance to what my natural point of aim is. All right, that was a little worse. That was about right here, somewhere right here. I'll do one more and you guys get the idea. And you can try it for yourselves. <laughs> I'm not, that was perfect. So that was right here, just below the A box in the neck. And that was dead center. So. You're going to have to take my word for it, but that was really, I'm actually happy with that. I wish you could see it, see that I'm not making crap up. But anyways, try this for yourself. Be honest with yourself. The best thing you can do is what I found is be honest in your dry fire. If you're dry firing, which you should be, be honest with yourself. So just some little tips to throw out there, see what you think. Let me know, try it, see if you gain anything from this. Um, and again, it's, it's not the big elaborate... Uh, trainings I do or for myself and practices they're fun and great but I'm always having to come back to super simple fundamentals to keep and maintain those basic skills and keep them at a, at a, at a high level so that when I do those bigger things it's it's manageable if you have a if you have a quality base of fundamentals you're able to do the bigger things at a higher skill level let's just say so anyways let me know what you think Make sure you subscribe. I appreciate it, and I will see you on the next one. Thank you. Nice. If you're finished, I know that you're